ever wondered why when two people eat same plate of food but see different results the answer usually comes down to macros calories and what's called your tdee in this video we are going to break it down in the simplest way possible let's get into it so let's start off with tdee what is tdee TDEE stands for total daily energy expenditure that was a mouthful but anyway so think of it as your fuel bill for the body it is the energy required by your body to do whatever activities you do for example i do cooking gardening just sit and walk sometimes i go exercise so whatever energy is required for all of these activities that comprises of my TDEE so if you eat around your TDEE your weight stays stable if you eat more you put on a little bit of weight and if you eat less you lose weight for example my tdee is around 2500 calories whereas vaishnavi's tdee is around 1600 calories approximately so imagine if she eats like me of course she's going to put on weight so where do these calories come from if you have watched our previous video on nutrition 101 you'd have known that there are three main macronutrients protein fats and carbs so almost all of your calories come from these macronutrients 1 gram of protein is about 4 calories 1 gram of carb is also 4 calories 1 gram of fat is about 9 calories and 1 gram of alcohol is roughly around 7 calories but we are not going to talk about alcohol here those are empty calories that doesn't belong to any macronutrient um so if you consume alcohol that's not going to add any value to your body that's what we are trying to say here but uh, staying in the lane so carb uh, protein carb and fats 1 gram of protein is 4 1 gram of uh, carb is also 4 and 1 gram of fat is 9 calories so a 100 calories may look very different depending on what macronutrient it is you would have larger amount of let's say protein and uh, carbs but very less amount of fat could add up to 100 calories so it is very very important to not just count calories but have an insight and have some knowledge about the macronutrient as well so far we have explained what tdee is and vaishnavi also talked about the calories in each macronutrient that is protein carbohydrates and fat now let's bring it all together and calculate our tde using a tde calculator we'll use me as an example but before we move ahead in this video please pause this video and take your phone so we can calculate it together So I am going into a online TDE calculator. It's called tdecalculator.net, and I'm choosing metric system, gender male because we are going to try with Karthik's age thirty four. He is eighty eight kgs, and one eighty. Height is one eighty centimeter. For now, he's doing light exercise. You can choose any of the options. You can choose sedentary if you don't do any exercise at all. You can do that. Um, light exercise and then light exercise is one to two days per week. Then we have moderate exercise if we do three to five and then heavy and then athlete level. So for now, we are going to do light. Like we are going to set it up as light exercise for Karthik. We don't know his body fat percentage, and that's optional. So we'll hit calculate. So that comes up around two thousand five hundred and thirty calories per day. We'll up, we'll round it to two thousand five hundred. So Karthik to survive as just being Karthik without doing anything, he needs two thousand five hundred calories of food per day. Now next step is to calculate our protein, carbs, and fat. So how many grams of protein or how many grams of carbs and how many grams of fat he needs. So we've calculated my TDE and it comes to around twenty five hundred calories per day. Let's break it down into macronutrients protein carbohydrate and fat so the preferred method that we like is to go by percentages so 100% of calories is 2500 for karthik so we prefer to go something like 40 30 30 and you can go whatever you want um you, if you want to do low carb maybe you would put a carb to more like 20% or 10% or 30% whatever it is so in this scenario we would like to keep karthik's uh, carb as 40 percentage protein as 30 percentage and fat has 30 percentage i know she said that you can change it according to what you want mm. but a simple rule of thumb that you need to understand is the more protein it's better for you mm. so always make sure that you have more protein and yeah. when i say more protein it doesn't have to be for 40 or 50 percentage of protein in your calorie mm-hmm. unless you're bodybuilding or something if you just want to maintain the rule of thumb is between 0.8 grams 
to 2.5 grams per kilogram of your body weight. For example, let's say if I have to consume 1 gram per kilogram of body weight and protein, I'll have to consume 88 grams of protein every day. Correct. So back to us calculating Karthik's macronutrients. He said 40% of his total calories as carbs. So that's about 1000 calories that's going to come from carbs. 40% of 2500 is 1000. So it's going to come from carbs, which equates to about 250 grams of carbs per day. Similarly, 30% of his total calories is going to come from protein we said so that's about 750 calories now 750 calories is about 187.5 or something so about 185 to 90 grams of protein he needs to eat now his body weight is 88 now two times that is also 166 so this is surely more than 2.2 or so uh, per kilogram of his body weight so anyway 30 percent of protein. 30 protein was about 750 calories and that it equates to 185 to 190 grams of protein exactly it's 187.5 and the last one was um, 30 30 percentage of fat which equates to 87 roughly around 87 grams of fat per day per day so if he consumes all of these in this quantity, he is going to stay the way he is yeah. and maintain his muscle. If he wants to bulk and all that, um, he will need to up his exercise and up his protein intake. Up his calories also. Calories basically, but yeah, protein intake is very, very must if you want to put on more muscle mass. Okay. I hope all of this provided you an idea. You know what a TDE is. We helped you calculate. In that same website, if you scroll a little... Um, to the bottom of the screen you can see it provides you some macronutrients but we like to go by percentage method reiterating that as a rule of thumb for protein the quantity could be anywhere from 0.8 grams to 2.5 grams and above per kilogram of body weight and for fat keep it to a minimal it could be between 20 percentage to 30 percentage of your total daily energy expenditure and the rest you can use for your carbohydrates Carbohydrates are quick fuel, protein will keep you satiated for a longer period and fats are also essential. So some takeaways, you don't have to obsess over every gram but this is more of a framework. A few things that we go by is we prioritize our protein, we try and keep our fats moderate, they are essential, we enjoy our fats but we still try and keep them moderate. We uh, we go up and down on carbs depending on the day and our energy levels it goes up and downs and what our body craves for as well and the fourth point and the most important point is we are not bodybuilders or anything we are just normal people and we try to eat healthy and nutritious food 80% of the times and the other 20% of the times are for those treats and sweets and whatever like your heart wants at the end of the day balance matters more than perfection so that's calories and macros in a nutshell basically your tde is your daily budget and the macros are how you spend it you would want to spend it wisely so if you enjoyed this video let us know in the comments below uh, we are planning to do more calorie tracking and all that in the future only if this kind of videos get attraction uh, a lot of you guys watch our videos but have not subscribed to our channel please subscribe and support us we'll see you in another one Bye. Bye.